Hey guys, long since long last time, so what have I been doing? A lot of crap. Uh, let's start from the beginning. This is mainly update of the FPV stuff, but I will go through some other things as well. Um, I have bought a ton of those small frames. Uh, it's called Z ZMR250 or Mystery250. It's a really nice, neat little frame. I know that RC model reviews have done review on them, so I will not do that. Um, complaining about that the arms are way too fragile. I have not been able to break any one of them yet, but trust me, I will. Uh, this was one of the white uh, carbon fiber-like frames. I'm not sure if this one is carbon fiber. I don't think so. This one should be glass fiber. It's a little bit heavy, but it flies really good on, let's see, Emax 23-2280 KV motors with 5.4 props. Some really heavy camera at the head. Uh, I have a beeper, lost finder. Uh, 400 milliwatt transmitter, 5.8 gigahertz. And um, I usually run this with a meter on top here as well that shows the battery voltage and alarms. Uh, it's a really nice flying quad. It works really well. It's running with multi V. Um, it's only with a double sided tape. Uh, it's not that good, but it works. I also have here is another one. This one is carbon fiber actually. It's a lot lighter than the white one because this one does not have any special kind of things on it. Um, really nice. I also built this small guy. It's the Hobby King. Really neat little machine running with 5.3 at the moment. With 5.4 it will be a blast. It's running with uh, I think um, Mystery Motors. 2300. I would say that those are the same as the Emacs. I have not done any measurements, but they are working really good. It's really, really fast. But first of all, I have to use this uh, mounting brackets on below with only two screws. Otherwise, I cannot fit the motors. And the ESCs I'm running. Let's see if I can get focus. As you can see there, the ship is removed. That's the 5 volt uh, regulator. The high one is there, but the other one is removed on three of the four. The fourth one is actually broken as well. Um, but I had to remove them without... Because with them there, it, they were short-circuiting. So it's actually made up of some broken hardware I had lying around. Multi-way as well, and it's really, really fast. Uh, I will put on some FPV equipment on this one. That's the next thing. I bought this from Hobby King. Let's see if we can unbox them. Sorry. Doing this one hander is not easy. It's a really, really small camera. Let's see here. On this one, I have this big camera. It actually weighs like 60 gram. Compared to this little sucker, it's so damn tall, small. It's a wrong uh, lens, it's 3.1 millimeter. I will be changing it 2.7 or 2.6. But compare here, do you see the difference? It is said to be 520 or 600 TV lines, so it should be enough. Five gram compared to 60 gram. That will be a short review of that one, I hope, if I have time. Um, guys, always have a beeper like this one on your battery, reminding. I also bought a Fat Shark glasses. This is the battery that comes with it. Uh, it's second hand and it didn't work. Let's see if you can see it here. This contact here was not properly joined. It was actually uh, rusted away or corrosion away. So I tried to fix it, but I didn't manage to get anything on this tab here. So I'm not sure how to fix it at the moment. 
Uh, also the um, card that was here, the electric, electronic uh, s- protection unit that is on those, f- so you do not discharge it too much or anything like that, was also broken. So I had to remove that as well, because the battery cells itself are good. At the moment, that is put aside. And uh, next thing, I bought a couple of these to test out. Why, do you say? I might be using the big one. That's because I do want a smaller one to charge my batteries to my glasses. Uh, it's small, very small. It actually run, as it said, by 12-bit microprocessor. It will be charging with 1 amps. So that's fair. I mean, if, if that's true and it's working, it's really, really good. So, let's open it up. Some screws magically disappeared inside. The power unit looks good. Uh, big capacitors and all that. Uh, discharging um, resistors should be okay as well. Underneath. Uh, looks cl- quite tidy as actually. Um, that's the UC that is controlling it, the 12-bit microcontroller, I think. But there is no number on it. I cannot see what it's about. Um, other than that, looks good. I will be doing a test, connecting it to the computer and measuring it up during a charge of a battery and see what it actually does. Let's put it back in together. Because if it's working as it should, it looks really good. Let's see here if I show you. Sorry, uh, here is the charging station Station I have. There we have it. I'm using the eye charger, of course, and I have a turn gym machine as well. They're connected with normal banana connectors here. And I can see how much power I'm using, and I have the charger for the LCD screen. But my thought is to placing those somewhere around, perhaps up here in the lid, a couple of them. So I'm just having a shelf where I can put on the small batteries as well. That would be really neat and I don't have to use this big charger for charging the small batteries. And my plan is to be charging batteries like this one that I will be using for my FPV gear. That would be good. Uh, my chargers, as you can see, balancing board, two of them connected. I don't have any balancing board for this at the moment because I rarely use it. I only use it when I need to charge a lot. Sorry for my kid. And of course, important to have a battery meter. So, next thing. I It's a big mess here as you can see at the moment. I have a lot of stuff going on. A lot of controllers, some quads. Anyways. I watched flight test and I saw this vector flight controller and I couldn't bear myself and I bought it. So what am I going to do with this one? I don't know. But the on-screen display is so damn nice. So I'm actually thinking of using it on my Tarot 680 that is at the moment running NASA. But then I don't get the waypoints at the moment. Um, So let's see, either I use it there, or I actually have another frame like this one that I might be using. Uh, This 450 DJI NASA is sold, it's going to be shipped. It's a little bit with sadness because I like this motor that I put on, it was really damn fast, Uh, but I need to get the money for other projects. the SK450 I have over here is also sold and it will be shipped. Uh, I also sold a couple of those I need to build. I'm going to build two more. As you can see, I have a couple of more over there. I have like five, seven of them left. So that's the next project as well. Other than that, yeah, I have been busy. I have had a lot of stuff incoming. I have a lot of new transmitters that I need to test out. Uh, I bought a a couple of new lamps for running and stuff like that. This one is crap. Already on YouTube about it. Um, I still have those lying around. I haven't tested yet. The watt meters, the power meters. 
I'm also going to order a <coughs> sorry a trust meter that I'm going to hook up with them. Um, I have several controllers I have not tested, several nays, multi Wii another one, <coughs> and I actually have a lot of frames. Um, I have quite a few propellers. This is only let's see what it is, 5.4 I think. Uh, whole box of 545, box of 530, that's going to be tested as well. Um, I need to buy, build a lot of small quads because here I have a lot of motors as you can see. I have quite a few uh, 2300 but I also have all this 1800 kV crap that I do not know what to do with. They are absolutely crap. I might sell them for 20 Swedish crowns per piece, that's 2 euro. Because they are crap. I don't like them at all, and they only rotate. Here you have one. The big problem here is the mounting on top. Other than that, I mean, they are working, so... And I got some new RCX motors. They need to be tested as well. They are said to be... Let's see here. 2400 kV that would be really nice a little bit higher speed it's version 2 so that's cool uh, I ordered them when they weren't finished and I just got them a couple of weeks ago so they need to go on a quad as well for testing purposes um, this bag is totally filled with things so I can build a lot of stuff that's mainly it for today some quads sold, some quads need to be built, and yeah, hopefully I will get some tests out soon. Uh, I have not had much time, and this is actually my first day off. So, testing of the vector I have, I have still t not tested the gimbal on this machine, but at the moment it's not good weather, uh, and I need new landing gear for it as well. So, thank you all. And see you next time. Bye.